An important decision for voters in Wake County. Who will come out ahead in the race for sure? Hello, everyone. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Dan Haggerty. Sorry to interrupt you there, Deb. Both candidates, Donnie Harrison and Willie Rowe, looking to lead the sheriff's office. WRL's Adam Owens live at Harrison's election headquarters in Raleigh. WRL's Amanda Lamb live at Chavis Memorial Park with more on candidate Willie Rowe. We're going to begin with Amanda tonight. Dan, Willie Rowe was out here at this poll today talking to voters. He said they've done their homework and he feels confident they're going to support him. And again, he was out here just as the polls get ready to close in about two hours. Now, this was one of about six stops for Rowe today, a 28-year veteran of the Wake County Sheriff's Office who retired as a major back in 2013. He previously worked for his opponent, former Sheriff Donnie Harrison. Rowe beat out the current Sheriff, Gerald Baker, for the Democratic nomination in the primary election after a runoff in June. Roe believes the voters are responding to his platform, which includes adding deputies and increasing community engagement. He says the most important thing at stake in this race is to regain the public trust. And of course, we will be following this race. He will be at the Holiday Inn on Hillsborough Street tonight waiting for those returns, and we will keep you posted. All right, Amanda, thank you. Now let's go to Adam Owens tracking the other candidate on the ballot, Donnie Harrison. Adam? Yeah, Republican Donnie Harrison has also been making the rounds as well. He is hoping that he will win back his old job later tonight. We're standing just outside the headquarters where all of his supporters will be gathering. We were in there a moment ago. They're putting up all the decorations to get ready for those returns later this evening. Harrison has been in law enforcement for more than four decades. Familiar to Wake County voters as a former sheriff here for 16 years as well. Since losing that seat to the current sheriff, he feels law enforcement has run into some serious challenges in the community. People are more concerned about violent crime right now. Harrison believes his leadership and his experience through all those years in law enforcement would be useful in getting the sheriff's office back to where it needs to be. He says he would come into the job already understanding the players involved and how to get things done because again he's been there and done it before. He hopes to make his return a little later this evening. We will be in his headquarters watching those returns along with him. Back to you. We'll be watching Adam Owens live. Thank you, Adam.